Hey everyone, new Planeswalker review. Holy shit. This is Narset Transcendent. She's coming out in the new set, folks. Get excited. Narset is an Azuri's colored Planeswalker. I think she. Oh god, which clan was she like a part of? Oh, I think she's part of the family clan. I. I'm not good on the clans. Um, she is blue. Uh, two, a blue and a white. So, uh,. Average cost, but very high loyalty at six, so pretty impressive. So only three to get to her nuclear. Her nuclear is nasty, but we'll get to that in a minute. Plus one. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a non-creature, non-land card, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. So if it's, say, a sorcery, an artifact, an enchantment, an instant, um... Put it into your hand. So she's kind of a scryer, but I couldn't put her in my scry deck because my scry deck's mono blue. So Anyway. Minus two. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell from your hand, it gains rebound. Rebound's back, folks. It's going to be bouncing a bit. Um, for those who don't know, rebound on a sorcery or instant means if the spell is cast, it exiles for a turn, but comes back because, why not, and you can cast it again. Say you cast Lightning Bolt, and it has that ability on rebound. You can put it on next turn, it auto-casts, and you can zap someone else, or zap the same person, or zap the same creature. Nice little touch. And now, her nuclear, which is an emblem, which is common, which builds up in three turns, and why wouldn't you use her for a stability? You get the emblem. Your opponents can't cast non-creature spells. No more counters. No more enchantments. No more token-producing spells, unless it's the creature. No, no more artifacts. Only... Creatures. So unless you're playing a creature-heavy deck, this will fuck you over. And it affects your opponents. So if you're the one casting it, yeah. Um, you see her, you counter her immediately. This isn't a wait till she builds up, blah, 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 try to keep her down situation. You see her, and you're a fucking blue mage, and you have a counter that can't be countered, 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 countered. Um, you counter her immediately. You say no. You make sure she doesn't get fucking casts. If you're the one playing her, you better have a counter to counter the counter. And if you're against her and they do have a counter to counter the counter, knowing that she's probably in a blue deck, make sure you have a counter to counter the counter that countered the counter. Etc. 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 Is it players? I really hope you have your overload red blue counter in your hand at this point because you're gonna need it. I know my easy deck has it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, counter her if you're playing against her. Counter her if you be ready to counter her if you see a blue white, or be ready to kill her the minute you see her if you can't counter. Damage her as much as possible if you're playing against her. And obviously defend her if you are using her. Try to keep her at 10 until you set off the nuke. She's going to be annoying. I just know it because I'm not going to pull her and she's going to be fucking annoying. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.